All right, let's talk about the Biden crime family with Breitbart's Alex Marlowe writing that, quote, Hunter's troll-tastic press conference was a major strategic blunder, end quote. We welcome back to the show Alex Marlowe, editor-in-chief of Breitbart News and co-author of the uh, Breitbart Business Digest with our pal John Carney. Alex, um, uh, hang on a second. I want to put your book up, too, author of Breaking Biden. I was going to say thank you for delivering John Carney like I always do, but Breaking Biden is a great read. Now, um, real quick, here's a sot sound from Jonathan Turley, George Washington University professor. Just listen to what he said yesterday, please. There's been an enormous amount of evidence put together by the House committees, millions of dollars that have gone uh, through a labyrinth of different accounts and shell companies to Biden family members. So, Alex, you know, um, nobody's off the hook here. Hunter probably did more harm than good. But I thought Turley was very interesting. Turley's saying, basically, you don't have to have every T crossed and I dotted to make a case. Have you considered that, po that point of view? Oh, absolutely. I'm looking at this purely from a political perspective. I'm not an attorney. Jonathan Turley's a terrific attorney. He can give you the commentary on that. But we're so close to an election, and it's very clear from the polling, the more the public understands the depth of the Biden family corruption, the less likely they are to vote for Biden. So that's where I'm interested right now. And when you see Hunter evading testimony, when you see these revelations about how he's spending nearly a million dollars on sex clubs and hookers while he's evading paying his taxes and his child support. This is the type of stuff that drives the American public crazy, and they know Joe's in on it. You know, um, I don't think he did himself any good with this press conference, which was in front of the Senate, by the way, not the House, where he was supposed to show up to be deposed. But also, as you noted in your column on this, um, Hunter now came out with a new, you know, new standard, new goalposts. It's not only that his father didn't know about business or the father wasn't engaged in the business. Now the father wasn't engaged in any financing measures in the business. And we all know that not to be true. I mean, that's going to be a big problem. Financing is the name of the game here. Oh, yeah. So what the key moment of the whole press conference was Hunter saying my family was not financially involved or my father was not financially involved in my businesses. This is all code. It means Joe was involved. Mm. He just maybe didn't get a direct check on certain things. But we all know Hunter's business business model involves Joe. That explains the whole Burisma where Joe's firing the prosecutor while Hunter's bagging a million bucks. Joe's keeping Hunter's business associates off his uh, sanctions list that's growing. And Joe helping broker a deal with the Bank of China while Hunter's cutting a deal with a equity company that is controlled by the Bank of China. It all has to do with Joe, and it's just a matter of time before Hunter incriminates him. Do you think uh, there's any chance, I mean, uh, Congress will put him in contempt, the House will put him in contempt because he didn't show up for his deposition, which would have been private and under oath. Uh, you don't think there's any chance the Justice Department will execute that, do you? Uh, I don't know. I, I think Hunter is just going to keep evading as long as he can. I think the House, it behooves them to do that. Uh, but if you look at it, Joe's just going to pardon Hunter for everything. This is something that's yes. really fascinating. Yes. Hunter has a green light to commit all the crimes between now and November, and then Joe will pardon him after the election. You know, you're the other guy. I keep saying that. I've done a couple of rips with that. There's no, I don't care who wins the election, but if Joe Biden loses the election, he's still president, you know, in November, December, and half of January, and he, there's plenty of time. He'll pardon a million people. He'll pardon Hunter, and he'll pardon all of Hunter's friends and all his partners. He'll probably pardon the guy in Burisma, even though he's not a U.S. citizen. That was a joke. But I'm just saying, I think you're right. There's going to be pardons left and right. I'll give you the last word. Yeah, that's exactly right. And that's why Hunter thinks it's a good legal strategy, because he can get away with it. But I'll tell you, I think it's a horrific impeachment strategy in terms of the politics of it. Because now, any Republican who's on the fence about the impeachment proceedings, anyone who feels like it's not worth the effort, they see that in-your-face troll move by Hunter. And they have to be thinking, OK, I got to get off the sidelines and get involved here, because yeah. this guy is sticking it right in our face. All right. Alex Marlowe, editor of uh, Breitbart, the great Bre Breitbart is such a good news gathering operation. Thank you, Alex. Good luck on the book. Happy holidays.